Uh, Jeff, first to you. Does what Steve just told you about that CPI change your expectations for your clients about what the Fed does with rates? No, I think, if anything, it actually strengthens our expectations, right? What we've seen coming into this is a surprisingly resilient consumer in the face of higher inflation. And much like you said, the alchemy of low interest rates is over. That well, you said end, that. I just quoted I you back. It. I quoted you back to you. You can't quote you back to me back to you. <laughs> that consumer is struggling. And I think especially when you peel back the onion, yes, they're holding in enough to spend. But in order to keep that spending going, they're having to borrow. That low end consumer is we're seeing borrowing increase. We're seeing defaults increase. They're much weaker when you dig below the surface. And as we project forward, what that leaves us hesitant is the Fed continues to have an inflation problem. Super core services are still more than double what it was coming pre-COVID. Mm -hmm. And that means the Fed isn't going to be likely to, to actually lower interest rates. And that consumer will struggle. The economy does have to slow in order for us to see inflation come down yeah. and a renormalization. Not just credit cards. Buy now, pay later is also being used Absolutely. to buy things and like housing. groceries. OK, M Maddie, to that point, we forget. It's easy to forget because all we've talked about is inflation since COVID. But the Fed has a dual mandate. To maximize employment as well, we're starting to see a slowdown, a little bit of a slowdown in the job market. Layoffs tick up just a little bit, not a lot. What are you watching most closely? Well, uh, we're certainly watching the, uh, the, both the inflation and the employment picture. Um, one of the things that we notice about this cycle is the strength of the consumer right now, actually. So it's a little bit different um, than the, what we just heard. We look at the consumer balance sheet as quite strong. And so as inflation tends to moderate over time, our expectation is that that yield curve will start to, st to, to tip up, which is why we have added duration to our portfolios, again, driven by normalization by the Fed in the short end of the yield curve, as well as some of the supply demand dynamics that we expect to see in the strong end or in the long end of the yield curve. So our expectation mm -hmm. is that the consumer is actually quite strong here.